This is Tyler Gaxtetter with Anatom Duo Mobile Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize the laser mapping range backsight method in Esri Collector utilizing the Aero Gold RTK receiver, the True Pulse 200X, and the LTI True Angle. This package is similar to the range range uh, method, except we're adding the True Angle, which is going to provide us with really accurate azimuth. Um, now the True Angle doesn't know where north is at. Uh, it's just regular turn angle and just measures degrees. So what we need to do is we need to calibrate it so that it knows where true north is. And that is part of the whole uh, method built into EOS Tools Pro. So first of all we start out in collector and we want to collect a point just as we normally would. So we open up our feature menu, select our feature from the list, GNSS offset. I can fill out my form, so I'm going to label this point offset and then to actually do the offset we got to collect or uh, press update position and then select offset from position this is now going to call up EOS Tools Pro application and it's going to throw us right into the offset method now first thing we gotta do is make sure we're uh, in the right method so we want range backside offset so make sure that's selected and then we go on to step one. Now the overall workflow is gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna collect my control point here, and that's it. Then I'm gonna move to my second control point, backside it to this first control point, and then I can shoot my, my assets. So let's go ahead and log this. Just hit start. It's gonna average five positions by default. Now I've got that, I can hit next and it's going to ask me to log my second control point. So you're going to want to place a marker where you are now and then pick up the system, move to your second location. Once you get there, set up your bipod legs, bubble up the range pull, and now you're ready to move on. So I'm gonna log my second control point here, hit start. It's gonna average five positions again. I'm gonna hit next. And now it's gonna do angle calibration. So this is what's called the back sight. So I'm gonna use my laser range finder. I'm gonna point back to my original marker. Press and hold the fire button to shoot. It's gonna populate the values inside Vios Tools Pro and then I'm hit next. Now step four is just to be fire at the target. So I've got my target right there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna aim it at the asset, press and hold the fire button, check to make sure the values came into EOS Tools Pro, and now I hit send. As Soon as I hit send, EOS Tools Pro is gonna send all of that information to collector, and collector is gonna utilize that information to do the offset. So I'm gonna hit send, just going to call collector back up. As you can see, it dropped my point uh, where the offset is. And then you can see my current location, which is the blue cursor, uh, just a little bit away from it. So now I can hit submit. That's going to store my point. And as you can see from this pop-up, EOS Tools Pro sent all of this metadata associated with that point. And so you can go back later and kind of Q&A your offsets. Now, to, co to collect the next point, I don't actually have to do the calibration process again. So what I can do is just select my feature again, fill out the form. I'm gonna name this offset two. Again, press update position, offset from location. Now it's gonna put me right back at step four. So it remembers all the calculations and all the control points from that, that original point. So I can just fire at my next target. It's gonna repopulate the form with the updated values. Hit send. And you can see it dropped it just you know, on the other side of my other point. Hit submit, and I can continue that. Now if I wanted to move to my third control point, I can actually tell EOS Tools Pro to just use my second control point as my, as my back site. 
So you can kind of daisy chain those control points as you move along, which saves a lot of time. Well, that's how you do a range back sight uh, offset and collector utilizing the range back sight package.